Girl, you're working with some bad shit. You're bad, yeah. Make a plan to spend the cash, yeah. It's bad, yeah. Girl, you're working with hey honey bunnies welcome back to my channel the sugar clarice bit if you are new here welcome if not hey honey bunnies as you guys can tell i am expecting yay i'm so excited um today is november the 7th 2023 and it's actually my mom's birthday so i'm sharing this announcement um with the world with y'all just to celebrate her birthday she has another grandbaby on the way she has passed so i bless her soul uh, rest in peace mommy i love you kisses today is november the 7th and i'm tech i am 12 weeks and six days i'll be 13 weeks tomorrow and next week i'm so excited it's the last day of my first trimester y'all and who when i tell y'all this first trimester my god oh my goodness <laughs> it's been something that's gonna be another video i can give you guys updates and let you know like more details of what took place it was really hectic really crazy i can say that i thought that i was going to have another miscarriage um, for those that don't know, I did have a miscarriage earlier this year in January, and that kind of took a toll on me. Then I lost my sister in March. So, and then I was just dealing with other stuff this whole year. So I was just really trying to keep my head above water. I was dealing with a lot of grief, a lot of depression and stuff like that. And so I'm letting you guys know that because it did play a part in how I responded when I found out I was pregnant. I'm gonna tell you the day when I found out I was pregnant. I didn't record, unfortunately, but I will tell you why in a moment. Um, but before I do, I do wanna let you guys know that, for those that don't know, my channel is basically based off of weight loss, vlogs, and reviews. And we know that with pregnancy, we're not losing any weight anytime soon. <laughs> so I won't be losing weight, but I still plan on going to the gym and working out. I have to take it easy because I am considered high risk with fibroids and just other things that's going on in my health that I'll share later on in other videos. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this channel will be changing a little bit. I'm still planning on doing um, reviews. I still plan on doing vlogs. Of course, we're going to be keeping up with this baby. I am a first time mommy. So I'm super excited. I just wanted to share this journey with you all. And for those that are mothers, please comment down below with lots of information. Like I've been researching and looking at stuff and reading stuff. So I've seen videos where it's like the first baby, you're into everything, you wanna know everything. Second baby, it's like, okay, yeah, I got it, but I still wanna know. Third baby, it's like, whatever, I got this. <laughs> so definitely in the books, okay? So let me tell y'all, when I found out, um, actually prior to me finding out, I um, knew that it was a possibility of me being pregnant, but I wasn't like for sure. Um, and I know that I was looking for my cycle and I did not have my cycle. And I was just like, well, let me just take a pregnancy test. Just let me just see. So I did record that, but it was negative. So I deleted that video. I don't remember the, the day, but I know it was negative. So I was like, okay, whatever. The second time I recorded, because I still haven't. I still haven't got my cycle at that time and I recorded and it was negative. So I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to worry because I'm like, what's going on in my body? I know that with my cycle, it was irregular since the miscarriage with fibroids and stuff. So I'm like, you know, what's going on? The third time I took a pregnancy test, I think I was feeling kind of like bad. It was coming down with a cold, I think. I took COVID tests, I took two. And not back to back, but like throughout some time. They both were negative. So I was like, okay, so it's probably just a cold or whatever. I was feeling bad. And then I still was looking for my cycle. I was trying to figure out what was going on with me. I'm like, where's my cycle? I don't think I recorded the third time. I took the test, it was negative. So that's when I really started freaking out. I'm like, yo, I'm not pregnant, I'm not bleeding. I think I spotted them in one day. I know I was cramping. So I was like, well, maybe it's coming. I still didn't have it. So September the 11th comes and I wasn't feeling well. I was like doing a party, I was decorating. I do like decorations for balloons and stuff for those that don't know and some other things. But decorating for a party and I wasn't feeling well. And I was like, I don't know what's going on with me, but I was contemplating if I was gonna go to the hospital, but I didn't, excuse me. So I remember getting a test on, on the 11th 
And I don't think I took, I probably took it that night or I can't remember if I took it that night or I took it on the 12th. So anyway, let's just say the 12th. The 12th, I took the test. And before I went into the bathroom, I was like, Lord, please let me know. Like, just let me know. Like I was really, I really at that time wanted it to be a positive pregnancy test because I didn't know what was going on with me and every test was negative. So I was really concerned about my health and trying to figure out what was going on. I went in there, I took the test and I was like, I'm not pregnant because I took three and it was negative. And I was just like, I might have to go to the hospital. Something's going on and I don't know what's going on with me. Look, and I see a line, I'm like, okay. Then I'm looking and it was like a faint line. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And that's all I could say, I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't say nothing else. I was just saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I was freaking out. I was shocked because I was like, I wasn't expecting it. I took three tests over a period of time and it, they was all negative. I don't know, I was just shocked. So I called my friend, my first, the first person I told was my friend Leah. And she was happy for me and everything like that. We were talking about it and everything. But I do remember how I felt. I was shocked. And then I was excited and then I got nervous over time because I started thinking, oh my God, what if I have a miscarriage again? Like, am I gonna be able to carry this baby? Like, then I was just dealing with grief and still depression and stuff. And I was just like, oh my God, like, I don't know if I can do this, but I know I, I want this baby. Like the whole situation with everything, y'all know. I have been dealing with so much this year. I have experienced so much loss in my life that this, I was like, I wanted to be happy, but again, I was scared because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to keep it. Then I was just thinking about telling my family and I'm just like, ugh, freaking out. That's what happened. But over time, um, I began to just allow myself to experience, like just be in the moment and enjoy the fact that there's life growing inside of me and talking to other friends and stuff like that and just getting the support. Um, that really helped me. So I wanna tell you guys again more about my first trimester, my cravings, everything that I was going through. The fact that I did actually start bleeding one day and I really thought that I was gonna have a miscarriage. That was really crazy. I have some footage of going to the doctors and the hospital. Um, I did go to the hospital after I found I was pregnant. Hospital on the 14th and it was confirmed. So I think I have footage of that. If I don't, I'm sorry, but I do have footage of going to the hospital and going to doctor's visits and stuff like that. But I will let you guys know more um, in the upcoming video. So if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe, stay tuned. I'm so excited about this journey. And um, again, we'll still do vlogs and reviews. Definitely been looking at baby items already. It's been, it's been lovely. It's been lovely um, as far as morning sickness. It's been like kind of in the afternoon. It's I've been nauseous a lot, but I haven't like actually full blown thrown up. I know that's kind of nasty, but I'm just being honest. Like I, ha I haven't did that, thankfully. I'm hoping that I won't feel any more sickness um, after next week, because again, I'll be entering to, well, it'll be my last week of my first trimester, but my second trimester is like right around the corner. So what I've been reading, what I've been seeing that you know, all that sickness normally subsides and you don't have to deal with as much um, in your second trimester and you'll have more energy. You know, I was tired. I was already tired, but like, that's another thing I knew. I was tired before I found out I was pregnant. I was really tired. So I will let you guys know more about that in the coming videos. But again, I just wanted to share this news. I'm so excited. If you have any questions or any comments, things you wanna know about the first trimester or just anything I'm going through with the baby, please um, don't forget to comment down below. Mothers, mommies, midwives, nurses, doctors that have information that is good for women to know this first time mommies, please comment down below and let me know. <laughs> I will be reading comments, okay? I always do anyway. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please, 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 please subscribe. I just, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Um, and again, I hope you guys like this video. That is it. I just wanna thank you for watching. Another shout out to my mommy. I wish she was here, like this experience. I know it's just like, no, oh, you need your mom. <laughs> but I know I have a lot of women um, in my life that um, 
are supportive. So I'm thankful for that. And um, again, thank you for watching. Until next time, see you, honey bunnies.